All right, in this problem, we have a function f in the figure that satisfies the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x equals 4. Okay, we're asked to find the largest val value of delta greater than 0 that satisfies each statement. So for letter A, it says if 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus 1 is less than delta, then f of x, the absolute value of f of x minus 4, is less than 2. Okay, so first let's talk about where these numbers came from in this. This is the definition of a limit. The, the, uh, the 1 comes from the fact that we're approaching 1. So whatever this, this number is right here, as x approaches whatever that number is, that's going to be the number here. Okay, so if it said x is approaching uh, 10, then this number here would be a 10, x minus 10. Okay, and the 4 came from right here. Okay, so this, when the function is equal to a number, it's saying how close is the function getting to that number? Okay, so this is basically asking us, as, as x and 1 are getting closer and closer together, how close? Well, less than delta. Delta is what we're looking for in this particular problem. Okay, so it's saying how, what does the delta need to be? Or how close does x need to be to 1 in order for this statement to be true, in order for the function minus 4, which is the limit, to be, to be less than 2? Okay, graphically, what that looks like here is that our delta is down here. Okay, and up here is what we're looking at less than 2. Okay, so... If we look at this function and we say, okay, well, we need to be less than 2. It's got, it's got it outlined here at 1, but we can put our own little outline here at 2 away from two away from 4 on the y-axis. So there's 1. There's some lines. We're going to make our own little lines up here at 2, which would be 2 away from that, which is at 6, and then 2 away down here, which is at 2. Okay, so it's asking us, okay, well, if this is the range that you can be in, this is how close you can be to the actual limit here, you can be within 2, then what, are, what is the delta? How close does the x need to be? Okay, so the x, you can see that it intersects this line right here on the x-axis. This is x equals 0. And then if we go over here to where it intersects this dotted line, that is 2. Okay, so the answer to our question, how far away does the delta need to be in order for the function to be within two units of the actual answer? Okay, the answer is, well, we look down here, here's where it should be at 1, but we're between here and here. So how close does it need to be to that actual function? Well, it needs to be within 1. So that would, we would say, well, our delta needs to be less than 1. Okay. So, or our delta, well, we can say delta is, is going to be equal to 1, excuse me. Delta is going to be equal to 1, so that we could say this. 0 is less than x minus 1, absolute value, is less than 1. If this is true, if we are within 1 of x being right there on x equals 1, then this statement is true. Then absolute value of f of x minus 4 is less than 2. Now, I'm going to repeat this, except I'm going to do it with the actual function instead of the graph to kind of correlate the two in your minds. So let's quickly, we're not asked to do this in this problem, but I think it will I think it will help. So what is this function? It looks to be linear. It looks to have a slope of 2, 1 up, 2 over, and it crosses the x-axis at 2. So the function is equal to 2x plus 2. Okay, so we have the function. We can plug that into this part right here in place of f of x. So we have the then part of the function. 2x plus 2 minus 4 is less than 2. That gives us absolute value of 2x minus 2 is less than 2. How do we solve that for x? Well, like this. We put negative 2 less than 2x minus 2 less than positive 2. Okay, and then we add 2 to both sides. That would give us 0 is less than 2x is less than uh, 4. And then divide each side, all three sides by 2. Still a 0, x, and 2. 
Okay, so we know that x is equal to 1. So the question, once we solve this equation, is how far are each of these numbers, how far from x equals 1 are these numbers right here? Well, they're both, like 0 is how far away from 1. Well, 1. And 2 is how far away from 1? 1. 1. So this is going to be another way of finding our delta in this problem. Okay. Now for letter B, let me get a separate sheet of paper here. I've run out of paper. For letter B, it says the only difference here is that we've got a 1 right here instead of a 2. Okay. We've already got our function. We could do it that way, or we could do it using the graph. Um, let's do it using the graph. Okay, so this is B. Okay, so if we are within 1, that one actually is color-coded for us already. We're within 1 right here. So here's 4, and it's within 1 or less than 1. So that's up 1, here's a dotted line, down 1, here's a dotted line. And then it says where where does the where is the delta? How close does the x values need to be? Well, right here and right here on the x-axis are what? Well, that looks to be between 0 and 1 right there, so that's 0. 0.5. And this looks to be within 1 and 2, which is 1.5. Okay, so in that particular case, our delta, we need to be within how far? This is 0. 0.5 and 1.5. How far are those away from 1? Well, they're 0. 0.5. So in this particular case, our delta is equal to 0. 0.5. We can confirm that real quick with the with the function. We've got our function already. We had it from earlier. 2x plus 2. Okay, so let's let's pop that in. So we have 2x plus 2 minus 4 is less than 1 this time. Okay, so 2x uh, minus 2 is less than 1. Solve that. Negative 1. Whoop, not less than or equal to. Just less than. 2x minus 2 less than 1. Add the, the 2 to both sides, this 2 right here. Uh, so we get a 1 less than 2x less than 3. Divide by 2, and we get the same as we did on the graph. We get 1 half, which is the same as 0. 0.5, and 3 halves, which is 1.5. And we ask ourselves the same question. How far are these away from our value that we know is at the function, which is x equals 1? right here gives us the function value of 4. How far are these two away from 1? Well, they're the same distance, and it is delta is equal to 0 0.5.